Hello everybody, this is Corbin from Zoco Marketing and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the brand new Google Analytics 4 aka GA4. Um, <laughs> if you're anything like me, you had mixed emotions when this came out, like another new tag, what's what's the point or why, why are we doing this? A lot of confusion on uh, how to set it up. I went to go look in and see if I could set it up as soon as I saw the announcement, but I didn't have the correct buttons. So I'm gonna show you where to find those. Um, before I dive into that, uh, I do want to tell you why um, the new GA4 is is going to be a good thing. So um, if you come over here to Google Analytics Marketing Blog, and I'll link this in the video, um, high level overview, you guys can go through and read this. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but we're going to get smarter insights to improve your marketing decisions and get better ROI. Who doesn't love ROI, I guess? Um, and it goes into detail on what that includes. And then we are going to get more um, complete understanding of how customers interact with our business. So, and once again, it, it reads into that a little bit more. And supposedly, supposedly, this is built for the long term. So, hopefully, we will not need to go through and uh, update these kind of things again. But I'm sure we will because Google's always uh, innovating um, in that regard. So, without further ado, let's go into how to set this up. So, I am inside of my Google Ads or my sorry Google Analytics account, and my understanding is it's going to be the default now. Uh, that when you set up a new account, it will show uh, the new GA4. But for those of us who had accounts before, you need to go through and switch those over. So here is the button that you want to go in and look at. So this banner up here told you about it, but it doesn't tell you how to really set it up. It says dismiss or learn more. So I'm going to hit dismiss um, and we're going to come over here. We're going to come over to the admin tab. And inside of admin, clearly right here, now we have the upgrade to GA4. So when I checked a couple of days ago, this button was not here. So if it's not in your account, I think they're slowly rolling this out to uh, everybody's account. But just be patient until you get this button. So um, we're going to go through and hit upgrade to GA4. So here we are in the setup. And a, and a couple of important things to note, if you were like me, you were worried about your old view getting like demolished or some sort of data getting corrupted in there. Um, just these, these clearly state the universal property or universal analytics property will remain unchanged and continue to collect data. So after we, after we create the GA4, you will literally have two different, um, kind of, uh, properties for your Google analytics account and your old universe or your universal, your current universal analytics will remain untouched. So we're going to come in here to start now, um, because we need to create a new one. Um, I imagine very few people will need to connect a, uh, an existing one at this point. So I'm going to hit get started here. And it's going to take us to this setup wizard. Okay. So now we are inside of the, um, new GA4 account. So right now, if I go to my properties and views, you can see here, this is my old universal account, Corbin DIY. And then this is the new GA4. It's, it looks like it's got a new tracking ID number, um, all slick and whatnot. Um, so the old view is completely untouched. We don't have to worry about that. Now we do need to install the new GA4 tag. And how you do that is you come in here to um, tag installation. Um, and if this is your first time in here, you probably only have one of these uh, that just says uh, your website name. I went through and created another one and this is the example that I used. I just named it my website. So click in whatever one you have. I would not recommend creating two like I have at this point. Just create the click the one that you currently have inside of this account um, to get this property, this measurement tag right here. And we are going to be using Google Tag Manager to install this. Um, and we're using on an existing page. So it gives you instructions on how to do that right here. Use existing on-page tag. If you're doing it through Google Analytics, here are the instructions on how to do that. And if you're going to, doing it through Google Tag Manager, here are the instructions as well. We're going to jump in on how to do it in Google Tag Manager. One important, other important thing is, is make sure this is checked. It's default as checked, but just make sure it is for the enhanced measurements um, that Google Analytics is offering. I'm going to copy this guy, and then we're going to go over to Google Tag Manager. We're going to add a new tag. We're going to call this GA4. <laughs> Sounds like so like it sounds like a movie sequel or something, you know, going to see GA4. Uh, and now inside of Google Tag Manager, this is new. They have the Google Analytics GA4 configuration. You need to do the configuration, not the event. That's important. So we're going to go to configuration. And then we are going to simply, just like with the old tag, uh, the old tags, you're going to add the 
just the ID. You don't need the full code inside of there. And of course, we want this firing on all pages. So we're going to add the trigger there to all pages, just like our old Google Analytics universal tag. We're going to hit save. Um, I'm not going to preview these changes. I am just going to submit them. I feel pretty confident about what we just set up. Um, but if we do go back, when I went through and did this before, uh, when I went and actually uh, did check um, going to preview mode, it gave me a little bit of a different view for Google Tag Manager. Um, so when I click in here to, yeah, it asked for this thing. So uh, if you're new to this, this is how you do this thing. Uh, this is this is a new thing for Google Tag Manager. It asks for your site, and then the debug mode is like actually shows up in Google Tag Manager. It's very interesting. How's the only playing that one for HTTPS? Okay, so we're gonna start that. It's gonna try and find our site. Okay, so it went to our site, but now we come back here to Tag Manager and the, the tags are inside of Tag Manager. This, this is new as well. So um, you can see the GA4 fired on my website along with the old Google Analytics tag. So both of those are collecting data inside of different properties. So we're good. We're not double tracking data or anything like that. Um, I wonder if this is a, a new thing just with the GA4 if, or if this is how Google Tag Manager is now going to have the debug mode. I'm excited to explore that. Anyway, so with, now we go back to our Google Analytics um, setup that we were in over here. And we have successfully added the tag. So we are going to exit out of this. That is the first thing on the list. Um, so we go back to our setup mode. So now we have installed uh, the new GA4 on our website, some other settings that are helpful to do. We already um, enabled the enhanced measurements when we set up the tag. So that's done. If you have custom event measurements, you make sure you go through and import those into this new view. Um, you can activate these Google signals here. Um, you need to go through and uh, hit get started and hit continue. Uh, this is going to add some new um, cross device capabilities, more insight using Google data and all existing advertising features. So we're gonna hit continue and we are going to activate this. Basically just telling Google that they can collect more data. Um, so that is now activated. One of the weird things I found when I was doing this, there's no like back button. So you have to click back here at the setup. Um, let me remove myself. Uh, at the, you have to click this setup assistant again every time you want to go back. And it also doesn't give you like a check mark to say like when things are done. So you're kind of like, did I do it? Did I not do it? But that is now done. Um, linking accounts, you're going to want to go through and link your Google Ads account or your um, BigQuery or anything else that you're linking inside of Google Analytics. I'm not gonna do that right here. Um, audiences, um, go through and define all of your audiences. I do not know if the new GA4 imported all of my previous audiences from my old Google Analytics account. I kind of hope it didn't just because they were already maxed out. Um, so I wouldn't mind starting fresh uh, as far as that goes and then set up conversions. So if you have any of your old, or you wanna make sure any of your conversions are imported into the new GA4 um, when you are in, inside of here. And then you can manage your users and that is everything. Hopefully that is helpful for the new GA4. If you were like me, you were a little hesitant on how to do this or what exactly it was gonna to do to your Google Analytics data. The important thing to know is that it separates, separates the two. You're still collecting data in your old universal analytics account and now in the GA4. So you can play back and forth between the two. Just make sure you have the new tag on there and that you've gotten all of your conversions and audiences uh, inside the new GA4. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want some more content like this. I'm going to keep diving into GA4 and sharing some of my insights and tips. We'll see you guys next time.